What is going on guys? Welcome back to our 16 horsepower five speed racing go-kart build. We got a wiring nightmare happening right now. It'll be fine. But we got a CDI box in in the mail and we have not even opened it yet because we we want like the we just want to see if it's gonna work on camera. This isn't gonna work. Are you serious? No, no you're, it, you're messing with me. Man, okay, I just totally jinxed me. That's promising. Oh, dude. Oh, that. we got one pin that wants to push out. It's not like fastened good. Okay. So, so dude, like, on a, like, what does the CDI box do? The CDI box is the basically the little mini computer for the ignition. It's it's it tells the coil when to fire, basically. So we're used to using Honda clones, which has their ignition like built into the motor. What it is is it's you have your flywheel. This is the front side, and on the back side you're going to find two magnets. These two magnets, as your flywheel spinning, go by a coil. As the magnet passes by the coil, it produces electricity, which goes to the uh, spark plug. That's your ignition. Coil wire. We have the... Black and white is the kill switch. Uh, and this wire is gonna be the red with black. So those are right. It says that this one right here is blue with white, right there. Yep. Blue with white. Yep. Then we have this wire, which it doesn't say what color it is. It's like black and yellow. And it says it goes to the coil. Well, right here, going to the coil, we have the same color wire right there. This one, green, green. It's empty. It's nothing. But right here Ooh, is the ground. Yeah. Well, see the green wire. Yep. That goes to check ground. out the ground. Yep. It's got a green wire to it, so I need to move this wire to here. Okay. Boom. We are about to figure out where we're going to mount a battery. We just got a huge shipment from Go Power Sports, and they sent along like I don't know six batteries or so. This is just one of them. All different sizes. That looks like it's for a pocket bike. Pocket bike? Or power sport. Nah, power bud. Sport power sports. Uh, no, that's a BMW motorcycle. Are you serious? Yeah. Usually the uh, absorbed glass mat batteries on cars require a special charger. We'll just throw the battery charger on for 10 minutes. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Let's go. You probably should be wearing gloves and safety glasses when doing this. Ooh, the battery's warm. We have a ground here. We're just gonna ground it to the engine. Um, yeah. So I'm going underneath the gear selector here. So it has no way of getting in the way of the sprocket because that would be a nightmare. Thread the bowl back in. Next thing, we have to uh, work on wiring up switches. How about sitting in the cart? Okay. And. You got it? Yeah. Sit on the cart. Yep. And let me know if that is going to be a good place to put our switches. I think it would be probably better looking. Diamond plate, something fancy mounted right here. Okay. Can you reach that though in an emergency? But, oh yeah, that's the thing, no. And also, look at the exhaust. You can't reach over like that. No, you got, well, I mean like, you can do that. But remember, the shifter is gonna be somewhere in here too. Yes. So we're definitely going here, okay. Decision has been made. And then here's where the uh, toggle switch would go. Perfect. Yeah. Now we chop. Yep. Sounds good. Let's 
So you're thinking just like wham bam? That's kind of what I was thinking. And then? And then switch. Yep. Are you still supposed to have a flat washer? How does that feel? Ow! Not good. It doesn't have to be like, right, oh my it's good. gosh, tight. You alright, bud? I wouldn't permanently install it yet. I gotta put a screwdriver on that. But I mean, that's gonna work, you know? Oh yeah, I like it. Yeah. Let's see what kind of metal we can find. Do we have flat bar about like this? We can tack weld it up there and drill some holes for some switches. It looks like it fits. Nailed it. Loosely. Jeez. All right. It'll be fine. Yes, sir. Good enough. I know I look like incredibly confused. <laughs> A uh, little ghetto here. Yeah, it's fine. So we are done for the night. I made a battery box, but you guys have seen that before. Um, wiring. Working on the wiring. How's it going? It's a bit more complicated than than I'm used to, but I mean, you know, with their standard go-karts, but yeah. you know, I'm figuring it out. The biggest thing is uh, routing. You know, I'm not having a problem actually wiring it up, but it's routing it making room for the battery, making it look all nice and neat. So we will see you in the morning. We are close to turning it over, seeing if it has spark. Good morning. We're doing the exhaust. The problem is, is this engine didn't come with an exhaust. And usually on a lot of motorcycle engines, the exhaust is built where it fits inside deep and it's got a couple of half moon, clamp washer deals that hold the exhaust down in there deep and then a flange keeps it pulled tight well we ain't got that but what we do have is a go power sports thank you go power sports 420 exhaust that uh fits on here pretty good but we got that gap there that has it's going to have all kinds of exhaust just dumping everywhere yeah spewing out we have a uh, nut here a rather large nut that i have uh modified had to grind a little spaces while wow, you're just getting all up in there and uh i made it fit in there but it's not quite deep enough yet so now i'm about to modify these two and i'm going to trim them up to fit and push that up tight and then we can put the exhaust on I'm also going to modify the exhaust. I'm going to cut the flange off. We're going to put it on and then we're going to we're going to weld this piece back on and it's going to look something I don't know, something about like that. All right, hold it. All right, give her another tack. Yep. I might just go ahead and do the wiring because I'd like to hear this thing fire up. Yep. Oh, it happened again. <laughs> so we were getting ready to bolt our battery box into the diamond plate there and we realized we don't have a battery hold down. So we usually go with zip ties, but we're gonna step it up a little bit with this one and we're gonna do like a proper hold down. So we're gonna get a piece of flat bar, cut it to length, drill two holes in it, weld, these nuts, one on either side, and then we can thread these bolts into the flat bar into those nuts. So that'll be our hold down. Top speed, what do you think it's gonna be? Fifth gear. Fifth gear top speed? Yeah. Buck 20. Really? Yeah. 
All right. You think it could go that fast, though? I think it can. I don't think I want to. No, I'm not going to. No. <laughs> that's that's fifth gear like turning, turning her up. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Battery's going in. All right, let's see if this contraption worked out. It's not super pretty, but it's definitely going to be like, yeah, it's like flexes as much as the well the aluminum is flexing. the aluminum yeah exactly like it's just it's not going anywhere yeah so putting oil in the 200 i think i read on the ebay posting yeah. that um yeah <coughs> that it ships with oil and you immediately need to change it but i could be wrong dude there's a oil. there's oil in there dog why do you have to immediately change it uh, that's just what they said Maybe after break-in or something. I mean, we can use it as breaking oil. I don't know. Anybody out there that knows, why do they tell you to? Why do they tell you to change it immediately? I don't get it. I'm uh, making a good spot for this uh, coil. I'm gonna use this bolt, through bolt, uh, and uh, put a hanger on this coil. I don't know. I'm not really sure what you're doing here. I know. That's what's awesome. This is going to be welded to the head of the bolt. Oh. That's pretty slick, dude. There it is. That's pretty nifty, man. So, gonna start with wiring up the fuel pump. It's pretty straightforward. We got a black, which is gonna be grounded right to this bolt here, and then we have a brown, which is hot, and that's going to the switch. And then the other, uh, the other wire we have coming out of the switch is gonna be red, it's also hot, and that's going to the battery. You just took the wires that I fed you from the switches. This one's going to the starter relay. Yes. And we got one going to the battery. And, wait, no, you just attach one to the battery. Yeah, yes. you're about to snip another one and like piggyback it to the one going to the battery. Yes. Because testing purposes. Testing purposes. Are we ready, so, dude? No, no, not yet. Oh. So we, we we got gas in it? Yep. You didn't spill any? I didn't spill any. Okay. Are you be look are you gonna look for smoke? Oh yeah. Just hit the button and see what happens. Just real quick. Alright, only the button? Yep. Okay. Sweet. Switch on the switch. Oh. Ignition. Fuel okay. pump? That's on. Okay. Turn on the fuel pump. We're losing fuel out of the carburetor. All right, we'll cut it off. Okay. <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, it's all right. Are we pumping too much fuel? Probably. It sounds pretty mean. So what are we gonna do about the whole dumping fuel out onto the exhaust situation? Buddy, could be a fuel pump, pump issue. Could be too much fuel pressure. Too much fuel pump, yeah. 
I mean, we could just run that hose, drill a hole in the cap of our fuel tank, and that'd just be like a return, and it just returns the tank. Or is that not? That probably wouldn't do anything, would it? Hey, for the time being, I'm down. No, actually, the the pipe looks bigger than the uh, port, exhaust port. Well, so, that's, that's, so good. that's good. It's not a restriction. Right. So when we pull the head off, we can match it to the exhaust. Absolutely. For performance reasons only. For all you guys out there with those 301, 420 mini bikes and go-karts who are getting the cops called on you, this is gonna be what you want. RLV muffler from Go Power Sports. Uh, not as quiet as like a lawnmower muffler that you'd buy from like, I don't know, the hardware store, but it is much less restrictive. And if you're going through the trouble of putting like a, a big block go-kart motor on your project, like probably not gonna want a restrictive exhaust. I'm gonna catch all kinds of stuff on fire, dude. Are we gonna melt this floor? No. You don't think so? No, because we're gonna put something down. Okay, yeah. It is so responsive. We got a runner today. I think we're gonna save clutch, brake, chain, uh, and snipping our wiring harness down for next time because we gotta get to work on the CT70 because we got some, we got speedometer cables, we got brake cables, uh, we got taillight housing, uh, we got all kinds of things we need to make it street legal. And we gotta put that thing together today so we can talk to the DMV guy exactly. tomorrow. Exactly. What do y'all think of the 200? I mean, you know. I think it sounds awesome. I'm happy with it. Expensive, yes. Time consuming, yes. But it's it's very unique. That's what I like. So what do you think we should put this up against when we're done with it? The rail, Ike 72 mile an hour cart, anything else? It'd be cool to take the sleeves off of the turbo trike and see what it'll do with the drag strip. You don't think anything? We could gear to do like 90. Wouldn't I don't want to do 90 on three wheels, dude. Are you crazy? Set some kind of record, maybe. Record on how fast you can die. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. You gotta thank our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com. Exhaust, muffler, everything on this chassis except for pretty much the engine. Uh, Cars-Cameras.com for our stickers, hoodies, hats, and shirts. Pick one up, uh, help support the channel. We're like, we're down to like probably two or three hats also. So just. I'm getting one of those hats today. Oh, down to one or two hats. <laughs> oh. Anyway, thanks for watching. We will see you Wednesday.